channel once again. In test tube A, both air and water are present. In test tube B, there is no air dissolved in the water. And in test tube C, the air is dry. Do you know which of these conditions under which iron rusts? To investigate this, we will perform an activity 3.14. This activity is from the chapter Metals and Non-Metals. To perform this activity, we require 3 test tubes, 3 iron nails, 3 corks, water, boiled distilled water, oil and anhydrous calcium chloride. Let us perform this activity. The first step is take three test tubes. Place iron nails in each of them. And label these test tubes A, B and C. Next, pour some water in test tube A and cork it. Next step is pour boiled distilled water in test tube B. Then add 1 ml of oil and cork it. Next in test tube C put some anhydrous calcium chloride and cork it. Leave these 3 test tubes for few days. After few days we will observe that iron nail rust in test tube A. In test tube A the nail is exposed to both air and water. Iron nail does not rust in test tube B. The nail is exposed to only water but not with air. Here oil prevents air dissolving in the water. And iron nail does not rust in test tube C also. The iron nail in test tube C is exposed to dry air. Here anhydrous calcium chloride will absorb the moisture if any from air and makes the air dry. From these observations, we can say rusting of iron takes place in the test tube A because the presence of the water and air. Hence, this activity proves that air and water are necessary for rusting of iron. This was about activity 3.14. Thank you so much for watching this video.